Hello everyone. Today our talk for discussion is ASEAN. So my dear students, as we know that the association of South East Asian nations is commonly known as ASEAN. So the full form of ASEAN is Association of South East Asian Nations. It's a regional organization which was established to promote political and social stability. It's a regional organization. It was promoted by establishing to promote social, political and social stability amid rising tensions among the Asian Pacific post-colonial states. This organization, as seen, it was founded on 8th August 1967 by signing the Bangkok Declaration. And dear students, as seen was founded, it was founded on 8th August 1967 by signing Bangkok Declaration. Bangkok is the capital city of Thailand. Thailand. Capital city of Thailand. By signing the Bangkok Declaration. The, now, the founding fathers of ASEAN are Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore and Thailand. These are the founding members or founding fathers of ASEAN. Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore and Thailand. Later we see that this group it was joined by Bruni. Bruni joined the ASEAN in 1984. Vietnam joined ASEAN 1995. Laos and Myanmar joined ASEAN in 1997. And Cambodia joined ASEAN in 1999. At the time of the formation of the group, there was only five member countries. Now, this ASEAN is a, is a ten. We have a, it has ten member countries. Ten member, ten member countries group. ASEAN. Ten member country group is a ASEAN. Clear? And we see that every year on eighth August in every year we are observing. We observe it as ASEAN Day. The motto of ASEAN is one vision, one identity, and one community. One vision, one identity and one community is the motto of ASEAN Association of Association of South East Asian Nationals. And we see that the ASEAN the ASEAN Sectorate is located in Jakarta. Jakarta. Jakarta is in Indonesia. Clear? Now the objectives. So far, the objectives of ASEAN is concerned. We see that this organization it was formed to accelerate economic growth social progress and cultural development for prosperous and peaceful community of Southeast Asian nationals. So it was it was created for it was created to accelerate economic growth, social progress and cultural development for the prosperous and peaceful community of Southeast Asian nationals. Second objective of this organization, second important objective of ASEAN is to promote regional peace and stability. Regional peace and stability. And third is that to safeguard the political and economic stability of the region against big power rivalry. And fourth is that to promote, to, sorry, to provide assistance to each other, to provide assistance to each other in the form, in the form of training and resource facilities, in educational, professional, technical and administrative spheres. Clear? Now the fundamental principles. So far the fundamental principles of ASEAN is concerned. We see that the, one of the important principles of the ASEAN is not to interfere, not to interfere in the internal affairs of one another. Second is the settlement of disputes or disputes and differences by peaceful resolution or peaceful by peaceful manner by peaceful settlement of disputes through negotiation or peaceful manner third we see that mutual respect for independence sovereignty equality territorial integrity and national identity of all nationals so this is the third uh, we see that the third principle of the organization is the mutual respect for the independence sovereignty equality territorial integrity and national identity of all nations now the significance so far the significance of the ASEAN group is concerned we see that the significance of ASEAN is concerned we see that this ASEAN is the third largest market in the world larger than European Union and North American markets it's third largest market third largest 
market. ASEAN is the third largest market in the world, larger than European Union and North American markets. It's the sixth largest economy in the world. ASEAN is the sixth largest economy. Sixth largest economy. Sixth largest economy in the world. And it's third in the Asia. It's the third, third largest economy in the Asia. Sixth largest in the world. And third largest in the Asia. So, and now the ASEAN is a, it's a, it's a regional organization. It's a regional organization which was established for what purpose? To promote political and social stability. And it was founded on 8th August 1967 by signing the Bangkok Declaration. And every year we are celebrating or we observe it. 8th August is observed as ASEAN Day. It earlier we see that it's founding for members by founding fathers by Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore and Thailand. And we see that Later, this organization was joined by these countries, Brunei, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar, and Cambodia. Clear? So, dear students, this was all about ASEAN. So, video ko dekhne ke saath saath channel ko subscribe karna na bole.